Hello there, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, back again. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to try and do another series here and talk about adding authentication to a uh, Vue.js project. So this is Vue, the Vue.js um, homepage here. So I'll show how to install Vue.js using the new Vue CLI 3. Um, here it is right here, Vue CLI 3. Uh, it's a tooling to um, develop, rapidly develop Vue projects and get all the scaffolding in place as far as your build tools and everything. And I'll talk about that uh, in, future, in future videos. So the other component I'm going to use is Auth0. Auth0 is a single sign-on platform. They're a third-party platform that you can handle your authentication. So when you build your project, you don't have to do all your um, user management and your login screens and your uh, um, you know, logout, necessarily all the logout capability on your project. What you do is you ultimately send your project over to Auth0. Auth0 signs them in, and then they send a token back to your project. And so that kind of works like this. This is the old way of doing things. Um, forget about the right half here. Just worry about this half here if we're not doing multiple six, multiple sign-ons. So if we're just looking at this side, a user comes to your website. Your website authenticates them. This is the old way. And then stores a cookie. And then when they come back, you can automatically log them in based on that cookie. Um, but your, your website has to ha manage all the users. It has to handle their, uh, you know, if they want to change something in their profile or if they want to change their email address or if they lost their password, you have to write all the code to handle all of that. So the new way of doing it is to uh, send, well, that's that same origin policy. It's something different. The new way is to, when that user comes to your website, you send them over to Auth0, Auth0 or the Auth server, authenticates them, they store a cookie, and then they send it back with a, a special token that says, hey, use this token from now on uh, whenever you want to ask for permission to do something from this browser. So I'll get into that more, but you'll see that it's, it's, you're, you're going to send them over to a different server to log in. You don't necessarily have to send them over. You can, you can embed it in your project, but it, you got cookie issues when you do that. So you, you, the best way, the easiest way, is to send them over to the the auth server. So that's kind of how this this works. If 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 we were on the auth zero website, um, oops, I'm signed in here. I want to go to uh, an incognito window. If if we're on auth, say we're on auth zero's website, and they have public stuff that's available that doesn't need to be logged in. All this content, all this stuff here is is all public. But then if you want to get into a, a restricted area, you would log in. And and interestingly, you know, interestingly, auth zero even refers to their own authentication service. So just like what would happen in your project, somebody would click log on, and then the URL changes, you'll see up there, and they get redirected to this auth, auth0.com. It's, you know, obviously they're redirect, redirecting to their own site, but it's at a different um, server address. Instead of the www, it's the auth0, which is their domain for their own login. Yours would be something like, you know, your, your auth, you know, your name, um, your MAME uh, Auth0. So, um, and it, it brings you to a page like this where you then log in. You'll get credentials. Once you log in, you'll get redirected back to the you know the website that you were on. I'm not going to log in right now or, or create an account. Um, you'll get sent back to the site, but you know you'll have the the information on the site to know that the person is logged in. It sends back um, a JSON web token. For the most part, um, that you can, and that's another thing we'll talk about, uh, that allows you to, you know, work with the user and understand that the user is logged in. So um, we'll get into all that. That's kind of high-level overview of the project, and we'll get started uh, in the next video. So again, this is uh, Terry Caliendo from Dedicated Managers. Here is the Dedicated Managers website here. Feel free to contact us if you need any help with any programming or any projects. Uh, we're here to help you. If you, uh, you know, if you're just looking to, uh, for some coding help, or maybe if you're looking for an entire project, we can do it all for you. So, so grab us, get a hold of us here at Dedicated Managers. 
Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're just getting started here. Um, been doing work for a very long time, but uh, never did the stuff that I tell my clients to do. I've got a lot of clients that I've helped become very successful in social media, but uh, haven't necessarily done it for ourselves yet. So we're just starting to do it ourselves, trying to get that subscriber count out, subscriber count up. Would love it if you subscribe to the videos. Um, I'm not sure how fast I'll be able to pump out this series. So if you subscribe, you'll get notifications as the new videos come out. So again, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you. See you soon in the next video.